Welcome to this MindView video tutorial looking at the project management functionality of the tool. This video assumes you already have a working knowledge of the basic functionality of MindView. In this training session we'll learn how to go from a brainstorming session into creating a work breakdown structure, how to associate task and resource information to the work breakdown structure and create a project schedule in a project Gantt chart. We'll then look at how to engage stakeholders by using the project timeline, project reports, and even export into Microsoft Excel. Here in this example, we've got a very simple project with four clear deliverables and a brainstorming session depicted by this mind map. I've also got the numbering scheme toggled on. This numbering scheme is particularly useful for project managers when applying this mind map into the work breakdown structure or into the project Gantt chart. To convert this mind map into the work breakdown structure, it's a simple case of changing the view. On the home ribbon toolbar, we can change between the mind map and the top down view. And here it's created the work breakdown structure with a clear outline of the project levels, elements, tasks and work packages. To start scheduling task and time information directly onto the work breakdown structure, I'm going to open this module here on the right hand side labelled task and timeline. Notice at the top of the document, the document type is automatically set to project management. This means we're applying project rules onto the work breakdown structure, which means it's compatible with the project Gantt. Not only that, it's applying a project calendar, which is a default, is a five day working week with a 40 hour working week. And also the main deliverables are being converted into summary tasks. So these blue items here are being automatically calculated by aggregating the data in the branches beneath it. You can customize your project calendars as well as your resource calendars. To start adding scheduling information onto a branch, select the item and start to edit the data on the right hand side. You can start to edit duration, start and end date, manage priority, track completion, as well as manage all of your resources in MindView. The resource management tool of MindView enables you to collate your resources, track rates per resources, resource calendars, and even effort-driven tasks. Your resource management tool can be linked to your address book, Active Directory, and the new MindView Drive. As a default, we don't display this project information onto the work breakdown structure. However, it is possible to display any of the project data onto all or a selection of the branches. In this example, I just want to look at some of the scheduling information relating to the planning leg of the work breakdown structure. So by selecting all elements relating to planning, going up to format, and selecting branch data, we can start to toggle on and off the relevant project information. In this example, I just want to see the start and the end time, priority, completion, and resources. Further functionality in MindView enables you just to focus on specific areas of the plan. By selecting the parent branch and toggling on the branch focus, we can remove all of the other legs from the work breakdown structure and just focus on this particular section. The advantage of having the project data here in a visual way enables you to get a quick overview of this work breakdown structure leg before getting into the more detailed information in the project Gantt. So to transfer from the work breakdown structure into the Gantt chart, again, it's a simple case of just changing the view between the work breakdown structure and the Gantt simply go up to the home ribbon toolbar and change the view. Automatically, MindView will generate the Gantt chart based off either the mind map or the work breakdown structure, speeding up the time it takes for you to generate your project schedule in a Gantt. MindView is designed to be as intuitive as possible and it's very easy to drag and drop all the duration bars within the Gantt chart. By dragging the end of the duration bar, 
you can affect the duration, you can drag and drop to define the start and end date, and even drag and drop to define predecessors. To start adding more detailed task information, simply select task information where you can define various different constraint types, effort driven tasks, as well as set tasks as milestones. Within the project Gantt chart, it is possible to show and hide the task and resource information on the duration branches themselves. Under the design, head over to task name and resources and simply toggle them on and off. Here you also have various different formatting options depending on how you'd like to edit the look and feel of your project Gantt chart. Fast forward now into project delivery and we want to start to engage our stakeholders. MindView has a range of different tools to speed up and improve that process. Firstly, you can export directly into project reports. These project reports are based in a HTML format, which essentially means you can share it with any stakeholder and there'll be no formatting issues. It simply opens in a browser. Under the settings tab, you can choose exactly which reports you'd like to generate. In this example, I'm going to generate all reports. Once exported, the reports will open automatically in a browser. The project reports are outlined on the left-hand side, with then the report data in the middle. Being in a browser also enables us to show this information in a slightly more compelling way. It's easy to access information about the task list, as well as task status, and this has been broken down into the main level one items of this project. By toggling on each of these, it will display more detailed information relating to that leg beneath. We can review tasks in progress, completed tasks, overdue tasks. The workload report is going to give you a useful visual insight into any potential over allocation or under allocation in your project. You can compare this data against any overdue tasks within your project as well. The project reports in MindView also include Kanban reports and baseline deviation reports. When engaging a stakeholder, the Gantt chart isn't always the most effective tool at your disposal. Project managers find the timeline tool in MindView a simplified method of being able to share information with stakeholders. To change the Gantt chart to the timeline, simply change the view again to the timeline. Design functionality in here enables you to either show and hide the duration bars as well as filter on specific information, enabling you to show just the relevant information for your specific stakeholder. For example, let's remove the duration bars and let's use the filter function to show a timeline based on just one specific resource. The filters are based on the project data that you've been adding into the project, as well as the ability to create custom filters. There's no big secret here with MindView. It's the same data. We're just displaying it in different formats, in different views, and showing the relevant information at the most appropriate time. Finally, let's review some of the Microsoft Office integrations, especially when relating to stakeholder engagement or creating project documents. By heading to File and Export, you see that we have the full option of going for Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, the Outlook task list, and even Microsoft Project. It's really important to understand that documents can be both exported into Microsoft Office as well as imported from Office into MindView. If you're a Microsoft Project user, you may wish to use MindView as your front-end visual planning tool and back-end productivity tool with Microsoft Project sandwiched in the middle. When exporting and importing from Microsoft Project, no data is lost in that transition. Let's have a look at the Excel export. By choosing any custom export, you are enabled to choose from various different templates built into the software, as well as choose what data you'd like to include in those documents. Here, I've exported all of the project data 
into an Excel spreadsheet and it has formatted this information automatically. As well as that, on the left hand side, you have the options to expand and compress data based on the hierarchy of the mind map. And finally, we're now going to review the export into Microsoft Word. Just as the export into Excel, we select the custom word export, where you can choose from a range of different templates built into the software. Should you be required to export it into your organization's template, you can toggle on the option to choose and search for your organization style. Under the general tab, we can pick and choose exactly what's coming across into this Word document and also include project information such as dates, priority, completion and resources. And here we have the completed Word export. At the top of the page is the work breakdown structure image and notice how the structure of the work breakdown structure has structured this Word document. Our main deliverables have become the main chapters and the tasks and work packages have become the subchapters. It's created a table of contents for us and if we scroll down into the document here we can see that project information underneath each project header.